what is up you guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to i guess i should add some ignore the mess in this video we are going to do some more um, blender grease pencil we are going to kind of mainly actually work in 3d so i hope you're excited we're going to kind of do a 2.5 3d little planet so um yeah enough talking let's go ahead and uh get started so yeah this is the final all right cool so we open up the new project and then i'm just going to do shift a we're going to add a sphere we're going to make sure that we come over here into the shading tab and then i'm going to do an image texture so the cool thing about this video we're going to kind of go over a lot of techniques including like texture painting and stuff so basically i just um saved an image on the left there in the uh texture paint uh window and when i did that that allowed me to connect the image texture to an emission node and then connect that to the surface um, just so we can kind of give this like uh, so we can paint the texture on it directly and then um, link that up and when you're painting make sure that you save your image it's with all s so that it you know you save it onto your computer another thing that i did was i went file I think it's like file something I forgot what it is but basically you just want to make sure that all the data is packed in your blender save file um, so I think it's like file append or something I don't know I'll post it over here somewhere on what you need to do to make sure that when you save all the data is there so when you reload it you don't have weird like all purple images and stuff so basically here I am just playing with the colors uh, and I use a gradient tool to kind of go over um, the planet and a, a, a tip that I would say is that if you're doing the gradient tool on like shapes like this do it from the view because if you do it from the image it won't carry over the shape of the um, the, the, the sphere too much so now we're gonna go ahead and do shift a and we're gonna add a grease pencil object and when we did when we add this we got to make sure since we're drawing on a surface we want to go up there and change um the mode to draw on surface we'll turn the offset to zero and then it, if you see um as far as like the side and stuff we're going to take that and we're going to change it to view and i learned this tip from another grease pencil person that when you're drawing on a surface what you want to do is add a modifier to the surface that you're drawing onto so you want to go ahead and get the sphere add a modifier add a solidifier modifier and then um, set the thickness to uh, it's like 0.01 and the offset to about 0.01 and this is going to allow you and keep it on until the very end and then you can take it off so when you draw on the surface it actually sticks to the surface i don't know why but grease pencil is kind of weird when you draw on 3d objects that it doesn't always like recognize or the grease pencil goes too deep into the 3d object it's extremely important so make sure that you do that and add that modifier also you'll notice that when i drew on this i added a mirror modifier to the grease, grease pencil to kind of just save time so when i drew one circle it would just jump on the other side and draw it we're also later going to add an, one more modifier to the smiley and that's the noise modifier and i talked about that my two videos ago so if you guys care about the noise modifier I'll pop it right here so you can check that out but the main thing that you want to um, notice here I'm just texture painting so don't really worry about it the, th the main thing that I want to note here is that when you're using and you're drawing on a surface it's really difficult um, for grease pencil for some stupid reason and the, that workaround is going to be the solidified modifier on the actual 3d object that you're drawing onto It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and make sure that you apply it at the very end after you had drawn the final grease pencil object and animated it and everything. So, yeah, here I am just making, kind of trying to texture paint this hat, but the more I did it, the more I was like, this sucks. So later on, um, I ended up just like making a solid color, I think, and kind of getting rid of it and stuff. Uh, eventually, I'll do a tutorial on how to properly <laughs> texture paint um and how to change the brush settings the brush settings were wrong and they, there was no hardness 
and so I fixed that later. So yeah, um, and what we're gonna do here is make sure that we parent the everything to each other. Um, so we're gonna select the rings and then then select the sphere and that makes it the active object. Then we're gonna hit control P and then do object to parent. And then we'll do that with the grease pencil. So we'll do the grease pencil stroke and then select the sphere and then hit control P and then object to parent. So when we rotate it, it the grease pencil rotates with it and the rings rotate with it too. And we can animate those separately. So yeah, so here I am. Uh, we're just gonna go into the timeline here and then um, you know, I'll kind of subtly animate the uh, him blinking and it's just two frames. So I mean, all it is is just one more frame and we'll duplicate it. Um, and make sure like when you're animating, because I'm animating the hat right now. So when you're animating the hat, you switch from the grease pencil timeline to the, uh, I think it's a dope sheet timeline. So you can just work with the keyframes uh, and stuff like that. And I had quickly made the the magic wand. If you guys want to kind of do a more slowed down video of like 3D modeling and stuff, uh, I can do that if you like. I mean, I know I'm just doing grease, I got grease pencil right now, but if you like that, I can show you like really quick how to do that. It's super easy. All it is is, is a cylinder, and uh, I just extruded the top part of it, and then I did went switched into edit mode, create a new material selected all the faces for the top part and then hit assign um, and made sure that material is white to make it look like a uh, grease pencil I mean um, magic wand and right here I'm just doing a, a separate stroke and we're just gonna kind of do like a, a magic wand so I'm going about every two keyframes every one to two keyframes and redrawing the line to follow the, the magic wand and this is so cool with when it comes to like 3d 2d and meshing the two you save a lot of time with keyframes but then you kind of get the more custom customizability with just drawing it like normal so if you see you know if you can kind of mix both of them it makes for a really good um, video right so kind of like the best of both worlds the best of 3d and 2d and here i am just kind of going in 3d space and we're just going to kind of draw the stars and we're going to add a noise modifier to it so it just kind of gives the eyes something to look at and then i just kind of update so that's like the final keyframe right so then i just kind of control d or shift d duplicate the keyframe and then go back in time so every time the magic wand goes over i just erase a little bit going in reverse so then we come back I don't have to redraw all the stars and it just looks like they just appear so yeah so this is a good thing about saving your images because you can just kind of come back and then repaint over the images and you know you don't have to worry about re-linking re re things and if you're really good you can find where it is on your computer and open it up and like Photoshop or Adobe, I mean, or Affinity uh, Photo or something, and then edit the file there. And if you're even better, you can make specular maps and reflection maps and all other stuff. So this depends on how much work you want to do. Uh, me, I like to do the bare minimum, as you can tell. So um, yeah, that's basically uh, what I did and what I do. And here I am just kind of repainting this hat, which I still don't like. <laughs> you should probably yeah, I, mean, I think my my advice so that you don't make the same mistakes that I do is that you create a color palette like in the beginning, right? And then, then just kind of stick with it so you don't um, just wing it like I do. But everything that I do, I kind of just like wing it. So, you know, that's that's definitely going to be like my my take on like what you should do as far as the color. And then I, I think I added a wink here. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I'm mistaken. But yeah, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Um, you know, just let me know what you want to see. Uh, I think the next video, I don't know, I don't want to say like one thing and then do something different, but it'll probably be just kind of going over more specifics of crease pencil, and I might even do some 3D stuff as well, just depending on you know how I feel and stuff but anyways if you like this video like it if you would like to see more subscribe I post videos like this every week and I try to be on top of the week thing I'm usually like a week or three late or three days early so anyways um, let me know in the comments what you think 
And if you'd like a free animation or you'd like a photo edit or something, you can always email me. I'll leave my email or join the Discord and we can make it happen. You can be featured in my next video. So yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.